Hello folks, today it is uh, 2016, October, November, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 20. So this uh, problem does not seem to be a difficult one, but uh, uh, there is a catch there, and that's why uh, people often are deceived. So it is also mentioned in the in the uh, you know, instructor, instructor guide also. So it says that a car travels at a constant speed of 25 meter per second. So this is, this is V, upper slope. So it travels up a slope like this, like this. So this V is equal to 25 meter per second. The wheels driven by the engine exert a forward force of 3000 Newton. So the force applied by the engines is equal to 3000 Newton. There's a drag force due to air resistance in the friction of uh, uh, 200 Newton. So the, the drag force or let us say F opposing, we call it as F opposing. F opposing is equal to 2100 Newton. Newton. So the weight of the car has a component down the slope of uh, 900 Newton. So it is, uh, this is a uh, uh, component of the weight, weight component equal to 900 Newton. So what's the rate at which uh, thermal energy is dissipated? So we have to find the um, rate of production of thermal energy. So one thing to remember uh, the, uh, is that the thermal energy or the heat energy or the waste energy is due to the air resistance and friction is due to the air resistance and friction so that's why the uh, rate should be equal to that uh, power loss power loss due to thermal energy thermal energy should be equal to the responsible force which is the F opposing into the velocity. Power equal to force into velocity. So power loss due to thermal uh, dissipation should be equal to the force causing that dissipation into V that's equal to 2100 into 25. It becomes equal to, uh, equal to let's say 21 is 25, uh, carry 20, 22 is 50, 52, uh, 50 and 2 is 52. So uh, 0, 0. So this much. So it will be equal to 5.25 into 10 to the power 4 watt so the answer closest to this is this is choice number c so as i mentioned uh, in the very beginning and this question is a deceiving type question because people often would say that i would say that since the velocity is uniform the force should be equal so 3000 equal to uh, equal to 2100 plus uh, 900 and say the, up, the total force is zero and uh, if so the rate should be zero but uh, what the question asks is, it says the uh, the uh, thermal energy uh, rate of uh, uh, production of thermal energy and that is related to the opposing forces. So the force used is the opposing one and not the total force.